Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how we can connect Google Sheet to Power BI, a Google spreadsheet that is. Now, this is a unique problem. Not all of you might face it, but some of you might. So if you do face this problem, here is the solution. So now what I want to do is, what I'll show you is, I'll show you the spreadsheet which I have my data on. One second. So this is the Google spreadsheet that I have my data on. So this is a sample financial data that I got from the or from one of the websites. So yeah, I have my segments here. I have my country, product, discounts, units, sales, manufacturing, and other headings. Now what I want to do is I want to get this into Power BI, get this data into Power BI. So now when you go to get data, I will have to go to my web option and I will have to enter the URL. So what we usually do, how we share the spreadsheet is we click on share. We, I like to name it finance data, save. I'll get the shareable link from here. This is what we do. So once you have the shareable link, you just control C, come back to your Power BI and you press control V and you press okay and then It'll take a second to load and you will have your data one second yes so as you see i have my document one i click on this and now i like you know like in an excel sheet i click on this and it'll show me my data but this i had in my, my spreadsheet i don't have kind name children text so this there is some error that is happening let's try to refresh that still not happening so when i load this i'll be able to see only these things let me just show you when i load this into power bi i'll have look at the fields option it's taking a minute look at the field option i have these four options that have no data at all so this is not what i wanted right so i'll delete this and now i'll show you how you can do it so now again you have to click on get data Click on the web option where you have to enter the URL. Go back to your spreadsheet. I'll cancel this. Done. I'll come to my files tab. I'll come here and I'll select publish to web. This is what I want to do. I want to publish this to web. And now I want the link. But then I don't want I want the entire document not as a web page but as a Microsoft Excel file. And then I'll control C, I'll copy this, I'll come to Power BI, I'll paste this. Now you see the end over here. This was not there earlier. So I had the same link earlier. But then the last part, output is equal to XLXSX. That's a Microsoft file. So now I'll click on OK. And now just see what happens. Just give it a minute, it takes uh, some time to load. So yeah, I click on my sheet one and look at this. I have the entire sheet. Now I can just load my data and make any visual I want. So I'll just make a visual so that you understand. You actually know that the data has been loaded and it is actually there and you just don't see the headings. So I'll click on the drill down chart. I, I'm just making a random visual. So I want to see my country. I want to see my products. I want to see my segments. And I want to see the sale price of each. So yeah, one second I'll make the. I'm sorry, I don't want to drill down. Do I don't want to sunburst? I want to drill down on the chart. That's it. This one. Sunburst makes it too complicated. So I have. I just click on the data, and you see, I can see the sale in you know, a sale price for whatever product I want to see. So you see, now this problem is not something that's all all of you might face or you might say that why don't i just copy the data in the spreadsheet into an excel sheet but see when you have the option of minimizing tasks why don't you do it power bi is all about helping you analyze data in a swift manner so you have an option you do it by the best option that helps you in minimizing your actions minimizing your repetitive steps thank you i hope you learned something new